Undisputed. We are live from Los Angeles. I'm Jenny Taft here with Skip Bayless, Shannon Sharp. Good morning. Hi, Jenny. How are you? Let's get it over with. We did right. the red carpet last night. Oh, okay. Who was the uh, well most done. famous person you interviewed other than yourself? No, oh, you know. Right. Come on. Oh. You know, I, you right. know. Somebody. Who was it? Let's Somebody. See. Let's uh, see. Man, that Mandy Moore. Oh, that's was great. Good interview. Marissa Tomei. Mm. I, I wouldn't know because I didn't too. watch. You're a hater. You're a hater. You're a hater. You're a hater. I'm You're a hater. Way to go. If it was you, if you was on the red carpet, I'd say, I got to watch my boys still. I would. I already I'd, know. I'd be watching the National Football League, but that's just me. And by the way, let's get back to the real world, oh, shall we? Okay. How about them Dallas Cowboys? What about my two cases? Huh? Didn't they cover? Huh? You didn't bet a nickel on did that. Did they cover? You didn't bet a drop. Did I tell you they were covered? You did. Okay. You said New they England would. was covered. You said one would win by 39 and one would win by 49, and you were pretty far off that, I think. Well, the Patriots took their foot off the gas. It's not like the Giants scored an off. I mean, the Jets scored an offensive touchdown. Well, that <laughs> happens. That's why it's it happens. scary it happens. to bet those. Yeah, those backdoor covers. Correct. Good Thank job you. on the Thank Emmys. You, uh, good I job guess. to the Cowboys. Yeah. Yeah. No, we got a lot to get to today. Who is to blame? Uh, for the Browns loss, we're going to go there. How concerned should we be about Kyler Murray's performance yesterday? Also, a lot to discuss. We are going to start with Skips. Cowboys, Dak Prescott had nearly 250 yards passing and two touchdowns in the Cowboys' easy 31-6 win over the Dolphins yesterday on the ground. Dallas ran rampant. Ezekiel Elliott, Tony Pollard both racked up over 100 yards and averaged over 7 yards per carry. Meanwhile, the Eagles, yeah, they lost by three to the Lions at home. And Wentz was sacked three times and completed only 19 passes on 36 attempts. The loss drops the Eagles to one and two, while the Cowboys, yep, they are now three and zero oh, and feeling good. Shannon, do you believe the Eagles are still the best team in the NFC East? I do. Um, it's just hard for me to put the Cowboys on a pedestal just yet because they played such four teams. And so I, it's hard for me to evaluate. I think this week uh, they played the Saints, Skip, uh, next, I think next Sunday. Correct. We'll have night. A, Sunday night. Yep. Right. Oh, you put that the emphasis yeah. on night. Yep. <laughs> I, I think we'll get a, a better picture or a clearer picture of just how good the, uh, the Cowboys are, although the Saints does not have Drew Brees. Mm. But back to the Eagles. They're just – they're, they're – it doesn't help that you don't have D-Jack, Deshaun Jackson. It doesn't help that you don't have Alshon. Um, but that's still not an excuse for why they played so poorly yesterday. I thought they had a lot of drops. And that's the thing, what, what I see with Aguilar. Skip, he, he, he makes some unbelievable play to catch a touchdown where he has to spin like six times, gets the ball into the end zone, and then a routine ball, he'll drop it. And there were a lot of drops yesterday. Um, you, when you look at them, they ran the ball fairly well. You can live with that, 30 attempts. 127 yards, 4.2 yards a carry. That's good enough. Mm. But they gave up three sacks. Uh, Wentz is just a little off. Uh, just, I'd say. Just, just a, little a little off. A little bit. But you know what, yep. Scale Baylor? Mm -hmm. Sooner or later, the dust is going to settle. Yeah. Sooner or later, the smoke will clear. Mm -hmm. And at the end of the season, yep. as you over here pounding that desk, mm. you won't be pounding the desk oh. because the Eagles will be sitting in their rightful huh. place which are the top the NFC East. Yep. Yes, the Cowboys are 3-0. and They're comfortably atop the NFC East. But they still haven't played the Eagles. Got to play them twice. Mm. Still, uh, The Giants looked a lot better yesterday than they ever looked in the last two years with Eli. We're going to talk about that one also. But, Skip, I just believe that they'll get this, the kinks figured out. Wentz will be a little more accurate. I don't ever expect them to have Drew Brees and Tom Brady pinpoint accuracy. Mm. But I know he That's can... Admission right there. No, 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 no. Drew, uh, uh, Dak Prescott's never going to have that either, but that's not, oh. we're not talking about oh, him. Really? You, I, I'm, I haven't spoken yet. Yeah, you're good. Well, you, yeah. you, you shouldn't have <laughs> speaking because it's Celebrated. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that's what you do. You celebrate. You're gloating over there. <laughs> my cowboys, my cowboys. I just believe once the dust settles, they get everybody back. Wentz will play better. He must play better. And he will play better. And when it's all said and done, at the end of the regular season, the NFC East champs will be the Philadelphia Eagles. Oh, you're sticking with that. Why would I go anywhere else hmm. after three games? We're not even at the quarter pole yet. <sighs> Shannon, I'm feeling sorrier and sorrier Don't. for you. Don't. You are looking wronger and wronger, and you're going to lose so much more <laughs> Diet Mountain Dew, the breakfast of champions, the nectar of the gods, to me because you bet me, I believe it was five cases that the Dallas Cowboys would not make the playoffs. Yeah. Have the playoffs started yet? No, okay, they then. haven't, but we're three games in and they're 3-0, and, oh, and that's big leg up on the 1-2 and two Philadelphia Eagles.
And I got to tell you over here, I might have to get a LeBron James Memorial soft cast for my hand because it just gets blacker and bluer, metallic bluer by the Sunday. Because every Monday I have to smash this yeah. desk and it just, it just gets I bet sore you don't do that next sore. Monday. It gets you. I bet you don't do that next Monday. I'll bet you a case right now. There's just one case on that right here, right now on Sunday night. I got Dallas. Who you got? I, you got Teddy Bridgewater? I you got can have him. A bridge over oh, troubled water. Well, it's trouble. That's what they call yeah. it. Teddy Bridge over yeah. troubled yeah. water. Yeah, well, is it? Yes. You got it? I got it. Good. Done. Right now. I'm up 41. Two. Now. 42. <laughs> Already making bets. It's a good day. It's a good day. So, before I unleash on everything <laughs> he just said, Please. I, I got a few just trivia notes for you. Would you believe that the Dallas Cowboys over the last 13 games dating back to that win in week 10 last year at Philly are 11 and 2 over the last 13 games counting obviously the 3 this year. Mm -hmm. Would you believe that's the best record in the whole National Football League over that stretch? That's even a game better than the two Super Bowl teams, the New England Patriots and the Los Angeles Rams, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. So, would you say that's good? I don't know. I it, who knows? Maybe it matters not. We're talking 11 about and this two. year. It's the same quarterback on the same arc, the same Hall of Fame trajectory. It's still Dak Prescott. Would you know who leads the in NFL and QBR after three games? I don't know, just a trivia. I don't note. know how for that performance yeah. yesterday. It's trivia. Dak Prescott. He leads. Who? I, who does I he lead? Who is second place? He's he's at a 94 because he had a good QBR yesterday. He had an 84 yesterday. Were they better than you know who's? Uh, no, but okay. you know who Mahomes is now at 91 for the three games, and Tom Brady, you know who, is at 88. So it goes 94, 91, 88 with Dak Prescott at the top after three games. And w would you believe that over the first three games this year, just a little trivia note, mm -hmm. apropos of nothing, mm -hmm. would you believe over the first three games, my quarterback who can't throw, who's way overrated and about to be, you know, historically overpaid, would you believe in the second halves of those three games, he's now 29 of 32? Is that accurate? Help me out. 29 of 32, that's 91% completion rate, which over the second halves of the first three games leads the National Football League, as does his average yards per attempt of 14 yards per attempt over the first three games in the second halves. 14 yards, that leads the National Football League. So would you believe that yesterday, after my Dallas Cowboys all-time stunk up the first half, mm. would you believe after my Cowboys were in danger of actually losing to the Miami Man, Dolphins? Man, there was no in danger. Stop that. They <laughs> should have trailed at halftime. They got lucky because there was a fumble inside the five. There was a missed field goal. There was an onside kick that they recovered that they dubiously got called offside on. Yeah. I, I don't know. It all added up to barely leading 10 to 6 that they shouldn't have led. They got completely outplayed in every way, shape, or form in the first half. My quarterback came out in the third quarter and said, no more. I'm taking this game over. Here we go. And he goes 9 for 9 to Dak Prescott in the third quarter for 137 yards, which included a 19-yard touchdown strike to his man, Amari Cooper, you sure and the 8-yard. We could see it if you, you want to see it. No, I, I don't, don't want to see it, but I know you got it. You can't. You know, look, look at this. Look at I knew this. you had it. I knew you had yeah. it. Boom! Woo! And guess who he beat once again? That's Xavier Howard. Is he not a top five cornerback? Is he not maybe a top three cornerback? No. Boom! On the butt. Well, he's already at a disadvantage With because he's playing outside leverage in the okay. safety. Well, and, and by the way, Amari. Where's the safety? Amari, for once, went in motion. We didn't motion at all last year under Scott Linan. Now people move before mm. snap. Makes it a little harder. Xavier travels, so he had to travel across the formation, and he couldn't quite get his feet set, and boom, he got him inside because he'd gotten him outside at the goal line in the first half. He beat him twice, just took him to the cleaners twice. Skip. Xavier Howard, he can play, hey, trust me. Okay, before, before you go yeah. any further, Skip, mm -hmm. we're talking about the Dolphins, mm. a team that scored zero points the yep. week before, I got a team it. that scored zero points in the second half yep. yesterday, and a team that only scored seven points. So if you talk about scoring or lack thereof, we're talking about a team that's averaging four points a game, mm -hmm. yep. which if they continue this place, pace would be the worst in their history since they allowed the forward pass. Mm. And that's what you're bragging about. Well, uh, on defense, they do have that guy I just mentioned, Xavier Howard. They have Eric Rowe, Bill Belichick's favorite corner. Remember, he started Stop in the Super Bowl. Did he not start him not start in the care. Super Bowl? I don't care what he did uh, with him. Okay. You, you, you talk How about Badamosi, who was a Patriot two years ago and was a